Even though this motorcycle has a tack, it's not really precise enough for purposes of uh, measuring RPM at idle when you're adjusting your mixture screws or synchronizing carburetors. So I use an engine analyzer like this. Uh, I don't believe these are any longer made, uh, but I know that they're available on eBay for relatively little money. The way they're hooked up to the bike is very simple. The red clamp goes to the positive terminal of the battery, the black clamp to the negative, and then there's a green lead that is attached to the negative terminal of the coil. The negative terminal is not marked on this bike, but it is the yellow and blue wire. Note that on the right-hand side of the bike, the yellow and blue wire is going to be on the top. And on the left-hand side, the yellow and blue wire is actually on the bottom. So, but it doesn't matter which coil you use, as long as you use the yellow and blue wire, which is negative terminal, you should be able to get the proper readout. There's a range selector as far as RPM is concerned, 0 to 1200 RPM, or you can switch to 0 to 6000 RPM. For purposes of measuring RPM at idle, of course, we want to use the lower scale, and so here it is, 0 to 1200 RPM. Keep in mind that even though this motorcycle has four cylinders, it's got two coils, which means that whatever reading you get, when you hook it up to one of the coils, you have to double it. So uh, each one of these little divisions is 20 RPM on the bottom scale. So let's say that your needle shows that you're right here. Uh, that would mean that the meter is reading 520 RPM. To get the actual RPM, you just double that. So that would be 1,040 RPM, which is a good place to have your uh, RPM set. I prefer my RPM anywhere between 1,000 and 1,100 at idle. Another thing that this uh, meter will do uh, is read voltage. And uh, so if we just switch it to volts, you can see that our battery right now, to which the meter is hooked up, is at about 12.6 volts. It will also tell you your alternator output. So if the bike is started, hopefully the needle will go to just over 14 volts, which means that uh, at least voltage wise, your alternator is operating properly. One thing you want to make sure is if the bike's hot and when you hook everything up, you keep these wires away from the exhaust and the hot engine. And same goes for the power wires. Just route them in front of the peg to keep it uh, away from the exhaust. 